Threaded inserts are a great way to add adjustability to your project. I'm currently working on a crib, and I want the parents to easily be able to move the mattress down as the child grows. But the issue with threaded inserts is that as you install them, the grain of the wood can make them pivot out of square. In this video, I'd like to show you how to install your threaded inserts so they're square and true. There are some commercial products, like this T-Wrench, that are, are made to help you install threaded inserts. You can see that the T-Wrench, instead of using the Allen wrench to tighten it, the T-Wrench actually threads into the threaded insert. And with the T-Handle, you get quite a bit of torque as you install the insert. But the downside I found with this product is that it doesn't keep it square as it goes in. And when you install your bolt, it could be hanging out at an angle and that's unpleasant. So I don't like to use this method. As an apprentice, I was taught to use the corresponding size machine screw and two nuts. I would then cut the head off of the machine screw and install the two nuts, tightening them against each other. This made it so that when I threaded the threaded insert onto the machine screw, I could then install it in my drill press, use a fence, and use the downward pressure of the drill press to keep everything uh, straight and square as it was driven into the wood. I could then use the, the wrench for the nuts and slowly turn the piece in to install the threaded insert. This method works most of the time, but what I found over the years is that about one in 10 inserts are cross-threaded and rendered useless. I've devised another method that I'd like to share with you. You can see here that the head of the threaded insert is meant to accept an Allen wrench to be twisted into place. So what I like to do is to find a, a set of hex driver bits for my screw gun and install them into my driver. I'll then install it into the drill press and use the downward pressure of the drill press to keep it square and true as it goes in and use a quarter inch wrench on my driver to turn it slowly. This method drives the threaded insert in square and true without any cross threading and every single one works. So first I'll need to pre-drill for my threaded insert. Let me show you how I set up for that. Um, you can see here I have a fence and the way I set that fence, why don't we break it down and show you how I set it up. So I'm using a number 10 uh, machine screw here and the corresponding threaded insert. So I'll want a countersink for the, uh, for the head of the threaded insert. And so that happens to match up with a 7 16 drill bit. I'm gonna use a brad point drill bit so I can more easily find center. I'll install the drill bit in, making sure it's unplugged. Now with the machine unplugged, I'll use the point of the, of the brad point drill bit and put it exactly where I want it to be. So now I need to set my fence and that can be a little bit awkward as I'm holding the uh, bit in place. So to keep the bit where I need it while I set my fence, I'm gonna go here to my depth gauge and instead of bringing it forward to set my depth, I'll turn it all the way around till it stops in the back and lock it. And now you can see when I take my hand off, the drill bit doesn't go anywhere. I'm now hands free to uh, move my fence into position. And I'll just slide that right against the back of the board and tighten my C-clamps. And now I'll countersink for the head of the threaded insert. I'll release the stop. With my countersinking done, I'll now uh, pre-drill for the thickness of the threaded insert. I want to make sure I select a size that leaves clearance for the insert section, but allows the threads to bite into the wood. We're drilling for the clearance of my insert. I want to go a little bit deeper than the length of my insert. This insert measures about 7 16 and I'm going to go about 5 8 deep to ensure adequate clearance. To do that, I'll move my wood piece into position and press my bit against the top of my countersunk hole. I'll then zero out my depth stop and move it to 5 eighths of an inch after that. I'll lock it into position. 
And now I'm ready to drill my clearance hole. So with all my clearance holes drilled, I'll unplug my drill press and install my hex driver to install the threaded inserts. So I'll place the threaded insert into the clearance hole and and get it to rest on the hex driver. Just so I can have my hands free, I'll clamp the workpiece against the fence. And now, with using a quarter inch wrench, I'll place that on the driver and press down on the drill press handle as I turn the driver. You can see that this drives the threaded insert in nice and straight. The drill press allows you to keep very constant, consistent pressure. It also keeps that pressure perfectly perpendicular to the work surface. And I can drive this right in until it's flush, requiring very little effort and zero frustration. That's perfect. Now, every now and then the driver gets stuck in there. No big deal. see that I've easily installed my threaded insert with no cross threading. And that looks nice and perpendicular to me. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe for more woodworking videos. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to click that like button.